Hi guys, today I give you my top five tips for deathless mode. And the first tip is about chips. And you can get double the amount of chips in deathless mode than normal mode. So you'll see here my first challenge was to do six horizontal attacks and I got 20 chips for completing it instead of the 10 that you get in normal mode. And the second challenge was 15 vertical attacks and I got 40 chips instead of the normal 20. My second tip is leveling and you can level high by completing deathless mode. And if you complete it once, you can upgrade your gear to level 15. And every five acts after that is another five upgrade levels for your gear up to deathless mode 35. And you can get your gear to level 50, which is the maximum. You can also level fast by making sure your fusion chamber and forge are filled before your deathless mode act. And after you've completed it, everything instantly completes. You can also level fast by bringing in unmastered gear during your deathless mode acts. But make sure you remove the gems from the gear you're not using so that you don't lose those if you do lose the deathless mode act. So my next tip three is best gems to use. And for light, it's Titan Speed, 5cc and on 4 hit block all. For heavy, it's Titan Speed and on combo slash. And for dual, it's Titan Speed. And for attack, it's the Great Parry All Gem, the Dark Fire and your Rare Attack. And Defense is Rare Shield and Rare Defense Gem. For Magic and Super, it's the On Bonus Combo Magic and Supercharge Gems and the Bonus Combo Minus One Gem. And for Breaks, it's the Perfect Parry Stun Gem and Titan Break Gems. So tip four is the best weapon to use. And for Cyrus, it's Keldrew with a bonus combo minus one gem, one or two of those. And it makes every hit a bonus combo as well as charging your magic and super if you have those bonus combo charge gems equipped. And for Issa, it's Turian for the same reasons as the Keldrew. So tip five is the best ring. And for Issa, it's the Tamil ring. It has Nullify that removes Spectrum Defense for bosses and Elemental Titans and Freeze which boosts parries. And this is good for the Great Parry Only perk and more breaks with the Perfect Parry Stun Gem. So I'll show you those tips in action. Here I am in Deathless Mode with the Great Parry Only perk Titan. So I use the Freeze to boost my parries and the Perfect Parry Stun Gem for more breaks. And the On Bonus Combo Get Magic Charge to charge my magic and the Keldrew with two bonus combo minus one gems for many bonus combos and one does work equally well. And so with the fight, I dodge to avoid parrying until the break and then I bonus combo to charge my magic. Then once the magic's charged, I use the freeze magic so that I will have my parries boosted and they will all be great or perfect and combined with the perfect parry stun gem this means that I've got a lot more chance of breaks from perfect parry breaks and that's what happened with my next hit and I use the bonus combos for high attack as well so that was the end of that title and at the end of this deathless mode act I met Al Sar and he had elemental titan perk so he has spectrum defense so I use my Dark Fire for high attack and Perfect Parry Stun for more breaks. I use the Nullify to remove his Spectrum Defense and Freeze to get Perfect Parries so I can get more breaks. And the Bonus Combo Magic Charge Gems with the Keldrew and the Bonus Combo Minus One Gem for high attack and to charge my magic. And Titan Break Gems for longer breaks. And so here it is in action, I immediately nullify him and that removes his spectrum defense. And when I get the attack break, I then form bonus combos for firstly the high attack and also to recharge my magic. And when my magic is recharged, I then use freeze. And the idea is that I will then get more breaks after he's in freeze because my parries will be boosted to perfect and if I get a perfect parry then I'll get a perfect parry break and you can also use the great parry all so that you can 
get more breaks from more hits. However, he was over before I got a chance to do that, but I think you get the idea. So I hope this helps you survive deathless mode. Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.